In this video, let me consider one numerical on mesh analysis or loop analysis. Find current Ix in the circuit shown below using loop analysis or mesh analysis. Here Ix is shown. We are supposed to calculate this Ix using mesh analysis. This is the given circuit. So as we know, in mesh analysis, we are supposed to find out the number of loops. Here we have three loops. This is one loop, this is one loop and this is one loop. I will assume current flowing in this loop is x. So I am taking the current direction from positive to negative. And here we have another loop. This end is positive, this end is negative. I will assume current through this loop is say y. The direction is like this. And here there is no voltage source. I can consider the direction in any way. I will take direction of this is like this. I will call it as z. So here we can observe that there is a current source between x and y loop. So if there is a current source between two loops, we have to analyze that current source first. So here let me name the nodes A, say this is B, C, D, E and F. Here I can write 2 amp current source is equal to x minus y x minus y so that is the the direction of x and 2 are in so here we can observe that the direction of x and 2 are same whereas y is opposite to 2 so i can write 2 is equal to x so i have taken positive to x and negative to y x minus y i'll call it as first equation once we, if we analyze the current source, we are supposed to assume that this current source is removed from the circuit. If we assume this current source is removed from the circuit, we find only one loop that is A, B, C, D, E, F. That entire loop is known as super loop. So now we have to apply KVL to super loop. Assuming that this 2 amp branch B is not exist. If branch B is not exist, then this is a single loop. That single loop is known as super loop. That is now apply KVL to super loop. So here super loop is A, B, C, D, E, F, A. So I will start from here. I can write. 12 is equal to current will flow like this. So then current X flows through 2 ohm register. So in 2 ohm register current Z is also flowing. X and Z are opposite to each other. I can write 2 X minus Z. That is voltage across 2 ohm register is X minus Z. Then the current will flow through 1 ohm register. So in 1 ohm register current Y flows. So we should not consider X now. Current Y flows and current Z flows. Both are opposite to each other. I can write it as plus 1 y minus z. And then the this is the voltage source that is minus 6. As there is minus first, we have to write minus 6. So let me simplify this. So I'll take this 6 on left hand side. It will become 12 plus 6 is equal to we have 2x. This will be minus 2z plus y minus z or I can write 18 is equal to 2x we have plus 1y this is 1y minus 2z minus 3z is minus z is minus 3z I will call it as equation 2 So now similarly apply KVL to loop Z that is now apply KVL to loop Z apply KVL to loop Z. So here in loop Z there is no any voltage source we can assume voltage source equal to 0 I will start from this voltage this register voltage across this is 3Z plus then current Z will flow through 1 ohm register. 
so voltage across one ohm resistor is 1 z minus y now we are in z loop so we have to give priority to z so z should be written first z minus y as here we have written y minus z but here we have to write z minus y and here it is 2 in bracket z minus x z minus x i will simplify this 0 is equal to we have 3z plus z minus y plus 2z minus 2x or i can write it as i will write in xyz order that is minus 2x then we have minus y then 3 plus 1 4 plus 2 6 plus 6z call it as equation 3 so now we supposed to solve equation 1 2 3 either using kramer's rule or we can use directly the calculator keep calculator in equation mode and select the number of unknowns are 3 feed the values and we will get directly x y z values so by using calculator i can write so now i can write solving equation 1 2 and 3 we get so here we'll get x is equal to twelve point six six seven amps unknown y is equal to ten point six six seven amps and we have z is equal to six amps. So now here it is asked that current ix so here we can see that ix current ix is same as current y so y is nothing but ix so therefore here current y is nothing but ix which is equal to 10.667 amps so therefore ix is nothing but 10.667 amps so this is the current ix Thank you for watching.